Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a collective haul video for you guys. Um, in this video I will be sharing with you guys some of the items that I have been sent and purchased online recently. So I just in the past month or so I have gone a little bit crazy with you know I like purchasing things. I've just I don't know what it is and I even have another ASOS haul coming on the way So needless to say I've been a little bit naughty and Akriti if you're watching I'm so sorry I couldn't do it. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't help myself <laughs> Anyways, so guys, um, I am bringing with you a collective haul video It's actually been a while since I last sat down and filmed a video for you guys You probably didn't know because I do have some you know pre-recorded videos that I have sort of um, kept putting up but this camera has actually been broken for the past few weeks and I I ended up having to purchase a new one instead of just fixing the old one because it cost about the same price but anyways I just wanted to share with you guys some of the items that I have recently received and I've purchased online and as I said I do have an ASOS order coming in so I'll try and do another video for that this is going to be a two-parter video so if you haven't seen it already I will put the link to the second part um, this will be the first part showing you guys my online purchase and then the next part will be showing you some of my sort of in-store purchases but without further ado let's get on to the items and um, so I'll start off with Vinskata because they did actually send me a few things um, to feature in the video and I did do a lookbook with them but one of the sort of most exciting things that I did receive was actually this jacket it's super duper cool um, it is a satin material oversized sort of biker moto jacket and it's in this pistachio green which is quite different for me i don't normally gravitate towards green but um i saw this on someone the other day and i was like hey that looks really cool and it's sort of a different take on the classic khaki trend that we always sort of gravitate towards around autumn or winter so especially in Brisbane or especially in Australia where everything is just a little bit lighter this is perfect but obviously you know this is quite spring appropriate as well this was from Misguided I got it in a UK size 4 yeah really really cool and oversized and it like just looks really awesome with you know um, straight leg jeans skinny jeans um, or even like a really cute skirt um, yeah very cool and it sort of gives you that um uh, it's not going to match my makeup right now because of the clashing colors but it kind of gives you like that insta baddie vibe so if i wear it like how cool do i look like mm. <laughs> oh my god i'm such a fool but yeah like it just gives you like insta baddie vibes you know what i mean like i'm not an insta baddie obviously but yeah it looks cool <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's the first one. The next item that I wanted to share with you guys is actually this really cool Sherling, Sherling jacket. Um, it's in a grey and it's again another biker moto style jacket but in this sort of teddy texture. And I got it in the grey which is cool for um, you know autumn or winter. Um, especially worn with an all black outfit like I did in my lookbook. Um, but it's a nice neutral that I feel like you can pair um, quite easily. I don't know if they still do but they did have this in a pink as well which would have been so sweet. I would have loved to have it in the pink instead of this grey but I thought this grey one was pretty cool as well and I do believe it comes in a black and a brown as well. Um, but yeah I like the grey. It's a bit different. I don't have any grey outerwear like this so um, I think even with creams it will look really cool. Um, just looks so comfy and warm. It is a thicker jacket so it's definitely one that I can only wear like maybe in the afternoon or at night when it gets a little bit chilly um, because yeah I don't think that this would um, be too appropriate for the Brisbane weather which is just like a top of 20 degrees not really wintry <laughs> um all right moving on i did actually also get some bottoms from misguided and um, that's the majority of the items that i actually selected i'll start off with jeans because i love jeans i love denim i love bottoms Ugh, that came out weird um the first thing i got what first thing I want to share with you guys is actually these really cool wide leg trousers. If you did see my previous misguided haul, I actually did purchase this in a black and I, that one was one of the things that I did end up keeping. So I decided I'd get it in a white and I'll, the 
the biggest concern I had with per with, with purchasing this was obviously it's white. Is it going to be see through? It's not too bad. Um, you do have to wear like a nude underwear or black underwear with this. I wouldn't wear like bright pink or you know a pattern underwear but you know overall it's actually not too bad and I really like um I just like the look of like wide leg culottes or wide leg trousers it gives you like that palazzo resort style feel um and what I did in the lookbook was actually pair this with a um, sweatshirt just to get give that more athleisure vibe again rather than you know true spring and summery for winter it can make you look really, really tall, especially if you're petite. You just need to make sure you wear like high heels with it so that it actually elongates your leg. Um, yeah, it's all about just tweaking it. Obviously, you know, I'm five foot. I'm never going to get a pair of pants that are like the perfect length for me. So I do what I need to do to sort of make things work. But if you are normal height, that will probably look amazing on you. So yeah, definitely check it out. Another item I'm quite pleased with is actually these kick flare jeans. I just got it in the black. I love, love, love kick flare. I'm actually wearing a pair right now. Um, and this one is in a gray. I got the black because I think it looks really cool. It's high waisted, so it sucks you right in. And um, they are a raw hem. Now I did have to get this tape, like I did have to actually cut this one myself, but because they were a raw hem, it sort of lends itself to being quite adjustable um, just by cutting a bit more down the bottom. And now it is the perfect length. I'm really happy with that. And um, yeah, it's a really good fit. I got it in a size four and a 32 length. So it was going to be a little bit too long for me. So. Um, I didn't mind having to cut it myself and it's honestly so easy. You just get a pair of scissors and just cut that. So yeah, love this, love kick flare and the fact that it's high waisted means you get, you, it looks like you've got a bit more leg. So it, it's really quite flattering in my opinion. A few more things from Misguided. The next thing is actually this skirt. It is a rah rah skirt. Um, again, this is a little bit more of a spring summer piece because it is like a pale blue striped skirt with a drawstring belt. As I said here in Queensland, we don't have a true autumn, we don't have true winter. It never really gets that gloomy. It's still like at the moment, you know, it's really sunny and it's supposed to be day three of winter. So not really a problem here. Um, this is definitely more of a spring summer piece, but obviously you can make it a little bit more autumnal depending on the coat or the outerwear that you pair with it and the shoes. So if I pair it with like these really cool um, fur loafers, obviously it adds that bit more cozy autumnal vibe to it. So yeah, this is um, really cool and really sweet. And I think if you wore it with maybe a band shirt or even like just any sort of logo t-shirt, it would look pretty cool. So excited to wear this. Um, so yeah, that's that one. The next skirt, which is definitely more autumnal and more fall appropriate, is actually this gingham skirt. Um, you know, you definitely can wear this um, for summer as well. But I start this with a um, sort of a sweatshirt or a, a fitted knit. And it looked really cool um, with some loafers as well. And it just got it sort of gave you like that vintage grandma Gucci vibes like, again, which I really I'm really into right now. Um, and yeah, it's just basically a gingham skirt with this giant ruffle detail at the front. Otherwise pretty simple, it doesn't come with any pockets, um, and it's more of an A-line sort of fitted pencil skirt, um, you know, silhouette. Um, but yeah, overall I really like this one too, and it, well, I got it in a size 4, so there you go. And one last item from Misguided that I'm actually pretty excited to sort of style or wear around are actually these Perspex heel. Um, they are completely clear from the heel to the strap. Everything is clear. The only thing that isn't is actually the bottom or the base. So I think it looks really cool. Definitely elongates your leg. I've been wanting to try this out in a while. And obviously these Perspex style heel have come in different or a variety of different styles. Um, strappy block heel sandals are my go-to type so I thought if I wanted to try a trend I'd probably get it in a safe silhouette um, or a safe style that I normally gravitate towards and this is definitely it. It does come with like a double banded strap so you sort of um, curve it around your ankle. I don't know how comfortable these will be because it is you know plastic but I think just for a dinner or where you're out, just for a couple of hours, these would be really cool. But probably not a sort of 
go shopping kind of heel in my opinion yeah excited to try these ones and i got it in a size five just because i think this was the last one that they had left and it fits fine so yeah pretty cool if you're interested i'll put the link for this one as well so that's everything that I got from Misguided. But now I'm going to move on to Romwe. As you guys know, I've purchased from Romwe before and they have contacted me again and asked me to pick out three items. And the three items that I picked are actually pretty good. And I was pleasantly surprised with, you know, what I received. As you guys know, Romwe and Shein are renowned for being sort of a hit and miss. Um, and this time the stuff that I actually got are really, really cool. So I wanted to share it with you. The first thing um, I'm actually wearing right now that I love are these shoes. They are pearl embellished sort of three strap slides or sandals and they are so, so cool. Um, I do believe Zara had a pair very, very similar to these. Um, and you know, when I, when I got them, I was just so pleasantly surprised. Shoes sometimes can be a bit of a hit and miss from Romwe and um, you know, she in, but these were perfect. I absolutely love them and yeah, totally worth it. It's got that square um, toe design. It's got three straps. They're very, very comfy. And um, the base is actually rubber. So, um, you know, they don't feel difficult to walk in. They just, they feel like just really comfy slippers that are really cool because they've got pearls. And I've ever since I've worn them, I've gotten so many compliments. And I actually like to style them with these pearl like jeans that I've purchased from Zara, which I will show you guys in the next haul. So go and check it out. But yeah, these are amazing. Love, love these. And these are my sort of favorite purchases in this whole haul. So cool. Another sort of item that I did get from Romwe is actually another sort of pistachio color um, jacket. This is in a corduroy material, which is really cool. Gives it that lumberjack cozy vibes. And um, yeah, I love the fit of this. The shape of the shoulders is sort of that cocoon style where it's sort of rounded rather than straight, which I love um, because it lends itself to giving you like that oversized um, feel without it being so obviously borrowed from your boyfriend. You know what I mean? This is really, really flattering. Sorry, the sun just left and I'm hoping it's gonna come back. Oh, there it is. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> so, um, very, very cool. I didn't see it in any other colors. I just really like the color of this with this corduroy because obviously with corduroy you expect like more browns. Um, I think if they had this in a cream, it would be so, so cool, but I didn't see anything like that. Because I do have this one and the other green jacket, sometimes it does compete um, when picking out a green jacket because you know how many similar color pistachio jackets do you need? Um, but because of the texture, because of sort of generally how it looks, it is a little bit different. This gives you more of a hipster look, if I may, um, because as I said of the corduroy feel, whereas the other one's sort of more street style urban look. So they are a little bit different, but because of the color, they do compete a little bit sometimes when I'm picking out a jacket to wear. Um, but I prefer wearing this with like softer colors, like, you know, this um, gray, it would look really cool with that and maybe boyfriend jeans or something simple just like that and then another item I did get from Romwe is this skirt which unfortunately is a size or two sizes too large to be honest I did ask for a small but I think they might have accidentally sent me a large which is such a shame because this would have been so perfect for winter it's like this really thick um, faux sort of suede material which is really nice quality actually I'm so surprised it comes with like this circular Sort of zipper which is very very in at the moment um and it comes with these embroidered flowers which is just lovely because it's actually embroidered on rather than just like stuck on or painted on so really good quality pretty good material and i'm just like so bummed that it actually doesn't fit me but what i might do is actually get this taken in because i actually really like the length and if i sort of pull it against myself it fits really really nice so i'll i want to see what i can do about that because yeah i really do like this skirt or maybe I just order it in a smaller size I don't know but yeah it's just such a shame it doesn't fit me now moving on to Shein they also sent me some items they sent me three things all of which I did select my favorite piece that I do want to share is actually these jeans how reminiscent of Gucci are these jeans especially with the snake right Gucci's killing it at the moment but I obviously can't afford any of their sort of 
any of their designs. I actually prefer their clothing pieces a little bit more than their actual like accessories, except for the loafers. Not not really a huge fan of the bags, I'm not gonna lie, but their clothes are bang on awesome. These are just like straight leg jeans with um, embroidery detail on just one of the sides, which is cool. Obviously buying jeans, being five foot, I always run the risk of them being too long and these were no exception, but what I might do is actually just cut them off or um, hem them up because when I tried hemming it, so I just sort of tucked it in, it looked awesome because I actually really, really like the fit of these. They are a true straight leg, so when you wear them, they just just look straight. There's no pulling or there's no you know weird bumps here and there. They just fit really, really well. Um, it's just that the length is an issue, which is something I deal with all the time, so it's not a deal breaker for me, but really surprised with the quality of this, especially this embroidery. I didn't think it would look this good, so pretty pleased with these pair of pants. Um, highly recommend them, but obviously sometimes it is a bit of a fit and miss with pants, especially if you are a little bit larger, so take that into consideration. I would love to purchase some more jeans from Shein actually. So the other item that I did get is actually this dress. Um, it is a very summery dress and I know like why I purchased a summer dress when we're on, in autumn or winter, I do not know. But I just remember seeing this in Jamie's video and I'll put her video and YouTube channel in the info bar below. But she wore this in one of her spring sort of styling videos and I absolutely loved it. I couldn't believe that it was from Shein to be honest. I thought it would be like a um, portrait dress with the way it sort of um, fitted her. Um, but because it is, I think it's a one size fits all dress, it didn't quite fit me as well as it did on her. So, um, you know, for me to make this work, I do have to sort of play around with it and get it taken in a little bit. Still a really cute dress and it would be really nice for spring and summer. So I might save this one for next season. And then another shirt that I did get from Shein is actually this statement shirt that everybody has and everybody is rocking. I wanted to try my hands on this trend where it's got that sort of, it's that gigam shirt um, that ties around the waist and it's got the statement. What the frick are these? Statement sleeves? Um, I like how this looks on other people. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't work on me as well as I hoped because my bust size is very, very small. I'm petite, so my boobs are naturally petite as well, and it just doesn't fill this shirt out as well as everybody else's. Um, you can, you know, get away with it by like um, using tape here and there and sort of um, you know, safety pinning it, but it's just not as like easy to chuck on. You do have to make an effort to try and style this. Um, which is really unfortunate because I was hoping that this could be a very easy sort of statement piece to, to, to wear. It wasn't too expensive, so yeah, worthwhile trying out if you're really into it. And I've seen Karen wear it back to front as well, which was really cool. Um, but I just could not manage to make it work for me. I don't know what it is, but I might give it another go. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like, so... And it's got like these really long straps that you wrap around and you can make a bow. So it's a very cool top and they're sort of around everywhere at the moment, but it just didn't work for me, unfortunately. The last two things that I wanted to share with you have quickly become my absolute favourite sleepwear and that is this um, sleepwear co-ord from Silk and Tie and it's sort of a really gorgeous silky button-up top with the white trimming. It's actually monogrammed with my name, so JVM, and then it comes with these really, really cool shorts. If you guys remember, I did try purchasing something very similar from Misguided and it just didn't work out because um, the shorts were too short and um, the top was too big, too long, but this combination is perfect and the fact that I could get it monogrammed was amazing. So I'll include their link to the info bar below. They are a little bit pricey for a pair of like um, sleepwear, but you know, it's not any more than what you would pay for Peter Alexander like sleepwear and I think these are such better quality especially because you can actually get it monogrammed so it'll be a really really cool sort of um, bridesmaid present or even like um, a best friend present where you sort of get one and she gets one and you get mat you have matching PJs I just love 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 this and so many of my friends already want one as soon as they sort of saw me wearing it because it's just so comfortable and it feels so luxe you guys it's just lovely and you know obviously even though this is sleepwear you can wear this shirt out with just some jeans because 
you know, sleepwear has been in for quite a while and I would not hesitate to wear this out. Like, let's be honest, especially because it's got my name there. Like, that is so, so cool. So, yeah. So that is it, guys. That is my online haul of the items that were sent to me. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you found it helpful. Um, although these items were sent to me, obviously, I'm not being paid to make this video. So I know you guys really like these haul videos, and I do too. Um, I've just been slowing down a little bit on them because, you know, obviously I don't have the money to be spending on clothing all the time. So it's cool when brands send me some items to share with you so that I don't always have to spend my own money to buy them. If you are interested to see how I style some of these outfits, please go and check out the lookbook. Um, but otherwise, check out my Instagram and blog. Uh, that's where I'll be posting a lot of pictures on how I wear the items that I've shown you. But as always, if you enjoy this type of video, please go ahead and hit that like button. It would be so so helpful and I would be so so grateful if you did that and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so I make luxury fashion beauty videos every single week so make sure you hit that bell button to be notified of when I upload videos because I am a little bit sporadic sometimes um, and yeah that is it if you haven't seen part two of this haul video I will put that link in the info bar below please go ahead and check it out but anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye the sun's gone again.